All right, guys, welcome to a review of the new SJ7 soundbar. And you're going, wait a minute. No, those are two separate speakers. This is LG's new flexible soundbar, the SJ7. Allows you to split into two separate speakers, use it as a soundbar, take one of the speakers and have it detachable as a portable Bluetooth speaker. So there's a lot of functionality here. Now the SJ7 retails for roughly $429 right now at Amazon. It's a really interesting um, soundbar. You've got the soundbar, you, which are two separate units that work together as one or separately, and you've also got a subwoofer in with it. Now the very top of each soundbar you can see control so on the far on the left that is the main unit which has the function of volume up and down power on the right that is the bluetooth unit which you can separate and use as a bluetooth speaker these are the two speakers side by side it comes with those little stands and you can use it separately like that which is why i like it now in terms of power you're looking at 320 watts 4.1 channel it actually packs quite a lot in there now the subwoofer is a wireless subwoofer if you're wondering so you know you don't actually have to plug it in uh, and uh, you've got different of course outputs here so the secondary ac power output um, uh, is 140 watts on the secondary speaker, 4.1 channel, soundbar mode is 2.1, and portable mode, you're looking at output 160 watts. So on the portable section of the soundbar, the separate speaker, you can actually uh, switch between different modes, portable, Roya, and soundbar. It's really easy, and I kind of like that. It's just a nice little knob to move back and forth. Now, on the left soundbar, which is the main unit, you've got your optical port, you've got HDMI in and out, so you do have those functionalities. And on the right, which is the portable, you just have a DC input and, of course, USB servicing. Now, in terms of audio, uh, this thing does a really good job in sound. Very clear, crisp. Uh, really fills the room. I've got really high ceilings, about 25 to 30 feet, uh, foot ceilings. So take a listen to how well it does, uh, you know, watching a movie here using the soundbar. <laughs> So it sounds pretty good, but as I mentioned, you can split the speakers up to listen to them to 2.1 channel. So let's take a quick listen to how it works in 2.1. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we are taking a look at the brand new Sonos Playbase, Sonos wireless TV speaker system that's also a stand for your TV. Now the Playbase comes in two different colors, white or black, and retail. So that sounded really good. As I mentioned, you can take the right speaker and uh, use it as a portable speaker. So say you have friends outside in a barbecue, you want to take a portable speaker that sounds really good, a lot of good output. The battery life is four hours on this, so it's not as long as you know some other speakers, but the sound output is really good. So let's take a quick listen. Yeah, yo, open the door now and let me get Came here to cause pain, so no the fire next to kin. Let's begin. I'm the fire hazard of rap, blocking the exit before you get a chance to react. And I make them see headless like Christopher Walken. Keep talking, you'll be Christopher Reeves, not walking. Police will be talking, your body's outlined. Ironically, that'll be the place I'm. I mean, I have to say audio overall with the SJ7 is really good, uh, especially using the soundbar mode and 2.1. When you use it with the rear mode, not so much. I also like the portable Bluetooth speaker aspect of the soundbar. Works out really well. Now, the remote control is very basic and simple. There's nothing fantastic here. Uh, there's no word of using uh, an app or anything. But in terms of functionality, this is a really cool um, uh, soundbar because of its flexibility and also it fits well into a small apartment if you're looking for something that can fit into your apartment doesn't look too gorgeous you can also hide the speakers as 2.1 speakers this is the soundbar for you a little downside is that of course because you have split speakers you comes with two ac adapters you have to use to charge your device and that can be annoying just having more wires but other than that 
I still recommend this. I like it. I think they've done a really good job here with the SJ7 uh, from LG. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video. Um, uh, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.